So when we first came, we, we came in the front of the school, which my dad had a, a person who translates for him. And my dad was like, are you sure this is a junior, a junior high school? Uh, the person said, yes, this is a junior high. So the second day, I started uh, coming to the school. So it was really like hard for me because I have no English. I only, yes, I only know yes, no, and thank you. In the beginning of grade nine, Miss Young arrived to Highlands and she was like my ESL teacher. And after that, here where I met Miss Young. And after that, in a few days, she started teaching me English, ESL. And after one of those questions that just to introduce about myself and to get to know me, and she asked me about my secret wish. Of course, I told her I want to be a soccer player. And then she said, okay, and what else? I, I said, I want to share my story. So after a few days, she asked me if I want to do like a side project to tell, to tell her about my life back home. So I went to my family and I let my dad know about this. And we wrote like a piece of paper about the stories that I want to tell, to tell Miss, Miss Young. But really it was like every day, a new story. So originally, we had decided that we wanted to do a presentation. So I was hoping to write a speech for Abubakar to work on and memorize. And that's kind of the teacher's sneaky way of trying to, this is something that the student wants to do. And this is great English practice. So I was trying to um, you know, draw him into working harder on his English by doing something he was passionate about. And he said he was passionate about teaching his classmates about what Syria was really about. And Abubakar knew that his fellow classmates had no idea where Syria was, why was there a civil war, what is a refugee, what does that mean? And so it started as a speech. Hearing his stories, I was so inspired by his strength, his resiliency, his family's love for each other that I thought, okay, I'm going to turn the speech into a short story so that I could give it to him at the end of the school year. I just think there's a certain weight and gravitas to having your story written down and I really wanted to honor his life by doing that for him but as I started writing and gathering my notes and I ended up writing um, the self-published novel and then working with um, the editor through freehand books um, turned it into this book of creative nonfiction. The best thing that I learned from my time with this family is how it's not about the trauma that we go through. It's more about the love that binds us, what moves us forward, and that sense of resiliency.